Hey everybody, this is me. Can't remember the last time I went live. I think it was when Tony and I went to Spook Hill and we got dragged backwards up the hill in the car. So I decided while I was out kayaking this morning I'm gonna do a little live video. And you can watch if you want to. Come with me on my kayaking trip. I am on the Orange River in Buckingham or Lehigh Acres or Fort Myers or whatever area they consider this to be. And I've never been on this water before. It's kind of surprising there's actually a little bit of a current here, which I didn't really count on because you know we're going to the Estero River and there's no current there. It's just flat. But I'm going upstream now because it seemed like the thing to do. <laughs> and uh, going against the current a little bit, which isn't really strong. Not really an effort to paddle against it. But I'm on my Sun Dolphin Boss 12SS kayak, which is a fishing kayak. I think it's actually a kayak in name alone because the thing is more like a personal barge. <laughs> it's not like the kayak to see people going through the whitewater rapids on and stuff like that. It's three feet wide and it's 12 feet long and it's 75 pounds. And I just had to drag this beast for about 120 feet from the car to the boat launch. I, I didn't put wheels on it like I should have, but live and learn. I was going to bring the wheels, but I said, nah, I could drag this thing for 100 feet or whatever. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> that was a mistake. I won't do that again. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here on the Orange River. And you're live with me, which is awesome. I'm glad you could join me, whoever's watching. I don't know who's watching. Someone's watching. I have the camera tipped sideways, so I don't really know who it is. I'll see you after the fact, I guess. I'm on a little tripod here. Oops, and there's my, my fishing pole. Hit some branches. I have it in the uh, the aft pole holder. The house there. You can see some houses along the way, I guess. Uh, as you can tell, I'm moving kind of slow because I'm going against the current. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So I have my own kayak stereo. Dun, dun, dun. It's just me singing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I've been trying to talk everybody I know into getting a kayak so they can come with me on these trips, but no one wants to come with me. No one wants to get themselves a kayak to come with me. So I'll just take you with me on here. I want to give a shout out to James Eckleberry, who I went fishing with yesterday in Punta Gorda. We didn't catch anything. We caught nothing, but we had fun. It was great to get out for a little while and, and to a new place, just like I am now in a new area. I have no idea where I am. If anyone sees an alligator about to attack me or something, please let me know. Like call me or do something like, Hey dude, there's an alligator about to bite you. But, that's okay. And, uh... Next time, get yourself a kayak and come with me. Might drop anchor for a little while and go fishing for a little bit. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet, but I brought my fishing stuff with me. Just in case. Just in case. Might just drop anchor and take some pictures. Is everybody enjoying this? Not nope, one person left. I guess they weren't enjoying this. No, 
Uh, last time I went kayaking, I brought my daughter Jenny Jean with me. Lex Vallo, she calls herself. We went out to the Estero River. And when we got in the river, like within seconds, a dolphin came swimming past us. It was so cool. But we're not going to see any dolphins here today. This isn't that kind of river. Not that kind of wildlife in this river. And we're past the house now. Dave Penton, if you're watching, you could be on this trip with me. This would be the kayak that you're in. I'll tell you a little bit about this kayak. This is a Sun Dolphin Boss 12 SS Angler Kayak. It is super stable. You actually have to make an effort to tip this thing over. Watched a lot of videos and a lot of reviews and did a lot of pricing before I just selected this kayak because it's cheap and it's stable. Unlike me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, back into the shade again. And I've only got two people watching me. Aww. That sucked. But I thank you for watching. <laughs> No, I, I'm not doing like a live strip tease or anything or doing anything exciting, which actually wouldn't be very exciting at all. I'm just paddling. And I am going against the current, which is why you hear me taking a lot of paddle strokes, more than I usually would. It's going to be a lot easier going home. So anyway, this is a Sun Dolphin Boss 12 SS, and it weighs about 75 pounds, it's 3 feet wide, 12 feet 3 inches long, and it retails for about $4.98, I think, at Walmart. It's also known as the Ozark Trail Pro Angler 12. Those are the, that's the brand name on it these days. Sun Dolphin decided, well, we're going we're gonna to have a contract with Walmart, and we're going to make these boats specifically and solely for Walmart and they're selling it under the Walmart brand name of Ozark Trail. Oh, this fish just jumped over there. I'll catch you later buddy. And you can see two pole holders, two fishing pole holders in the front. You've got two fishing pole holders in the back as well which I prefer to use because those are too far away up front. And it's got two Lockable hatches, they don't lock, lock per se with a, with a padlock or anything, but there's little latches, I guess you could say latchable hatches, one in the front, one in the back. It's got two cargo bays, one in the front, one in the back. We can store coolers and crates and your catch and tents and camping stoves. Get the, get the idea, Mark? Mark Sylvester. <laughs> You get it? So, if this looks really peaceful to you, it is because it is really peaceful. I don't typically kayak down a river talking to myself, but I'm talking to you, so that makes it all that much better. I hope you're enjoying what you're watching, because I'm enjoying what I'm seeing too. Da, da, da. This is your virtual kayak trip. Look at this. Isn't that cool? You don't even have to do any of the paddle strokes. You can just watch and enjoy. A drink of this water. That's my little cooler you see in front of the camera. It is 90 something degrees, but here in the shade it doesn't feel so bad.
It's a pretty shady paddle. By shady, I mean like actual shade, not uh, illegal stuff going on. <laughs> Hello, person number three watching. I'm glad you could join me. Please don't leave because you give me a complex. None of you leave. You must stay here and watch all day long as long as, I, as I'm live here. I wonder how much time I have. I'm on the Orange River. This is the Orange River in Buckingham or Lehigh or Fort Myers, wherever you think we are, that's where we are. Somebody please put in the comments where I am, what town. <laughs> There's not a bad depth here. You know, it's nice and cool and it's like there might be some fish here. I might actually do a little fishing. Brought my pole with me. I didn't see any wildlife swimming under the water. Usually you would see maybe a couple of turtles or some fish or even, a, even an alligator making a hasty escape. Alligators don't like people very much. They stay away from them unless some idiots been feeding them then they lose their fear of humans and then that's when people get bit by alligators because people will feed them and make them not afraid of humans that's why it's illegal to feed alligators because it's dangerous in the long run isn't it beautiful? isn't this beautiful? this is why you people need to get kayaks and join me dog barking over there at a house. Oop, some branches. The dog that is not very happy to see me. And again, I'm in the Orange River in either Fort Myers or Lehigh or the <laughs> Buckingham, whatever you want to call it. Da -da -da. Got a boat over here. People have a lot of watercraft on these rivers like this. People have to just jump in them and go where they're going to go, do some fishing. It's a nice piece of river here. Hello, four people. Please don't leave ever. Stay here until I'm done broadcasting. Oh, there goes someone. Damn it, I lost a viewer. He didn't want to see anymore. So anyway, if you're looking for a good angler kayak, you can actually stand up on this. It's so stable. You can actually stand up and, uh, and do your fishing. That's another reason I like it, because it's that stable. So if you're going to get an angler kayak and you're going to do some standing up and you want something with a lot of stability where you're, where you're, <laughs> you're going to actually have to make an effort to tip it over, then this is the kayak for you. And it's supported in price. Yeah, there's a little boat here. It's a ghost ship. It's a ghost ship on the river. <laughs> it's been here a while. Looks like it's just tied to that tree and prevented from clogging the river. Looks pretty banged up. Storm must have blown it away or something and it cruised on down here and just drifted. Now it's sitting here waiting for someone to claim it. Pelican. Little two seater. And 
I'm just going to keep broadcasting for a little while longer. That's it. We've only got a little while longer before I shut this down. So, I think you've seen all you're going to see for right now. <laughs> but I love this kayak. Love, 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 love this kayak. And... Oh, i got one person left. One little person is watching me. I feel so lost and all alone. Only one person watching, but I'm glad you're here. <sighs> Probably Tony. She's bored with nothing better to do. I've got no one. Okay, I've got nobody, so I'm going to shut it down. I hope you enjoyed whoever watched, and we'll see you soon. All right, thanks for coming by. Give you one last peek here. This beautiful piece of river. Bye.